Hello, my name is Tom Nodziak. In this video, we're going to compare my forehand topspin versus backspin technique with the technique of a professional player, England number one, Liam Pitchford. Now, my forehand topspin versus backspin, do you know what, it's pretty decent, um, but Liam's shot is much faster and much more aggressive. So how does he do this? Well, to work it out, we're going to do some slow motion analysis. And at the end of the video, I'm going to try to return some of Liam's forehand top spins. Will I get any back? Mm, you'll have to watch to find out. Okay, let's take a look at the analysis. This video is sponsored by Brybar Table Tennis. At Brybar, you can buy the new Victus V22 Double Extra Rubber. This rubber is seriously fast and spinny and will take your attacking game to the next level. To find out more, go to brybartt.co.uk. So here is my forehand topspin versus backspin. Liam is chopping some balls at me, giving me some backspin, and I am lifting that ball up over the net. There's a little bit of speed and spin in there. It's not too bad, but it's nothing compared to what Liam can do. So here is Liam playing the same shot. And as we can see, it is much faster, much more aggressive. But how does he do this? Let's take a look at some slow motion footage. The first key difference is that Liam has a bigger body rotation compared to me. If we just pause the footage there, now take a look at Liam's left shoulder and compare that to my left shoulder. And you can see that Liam has turned his upper body more. Now what this means is that Liam is then able to use his, um, his thighs, his waist, his upper body to rotate more into the shot to generate more pace. And we can see that as well from this side on angle. If we once again pause the footage here, look at the left shoulder. You can see that Liam has turned his body more. Mine has stayed a little more open. So Liam is able to accelerate more into the shot. But perhaps the most revealing viewpoint is this one from behind and if we pause the footage again look at our feet you can see that I've got a bit more of an angle where Liam is squarer to the table now this means that when Liam rotates all that rotation is genuinely coming from the waist and the upper body it's like he's a compressed spring and then when that compression is released he then can export load forwards into the shot, generating a lot more speed. The second key difference is that Liam's stroke is a lot more fluid. Let's take a look at my technique first of all. Um, and we can see that, you know, I'm, I suppose I'm, I'm quite tight, I'm quite stiff. There's not a lot of wrist movement. Um, the elbow, the shoulder, um, a little bit tight. It's all moving through at the same pace. So there's some acceleration there, but not a great deal. Now, by comparison, let's look at Liam's technique. And what we see with Liam's technique, that there's a much more fluid motion. His wrist really opens up and then snaps through. His elbow very relaxed, his shoulder is very relaxed. And by having this much more fluid motion, what it means is by the time Liam comes to contact the ball, there's a lot more acceleration. There's a lot more speed going through the ball, which means he can hit the ball much faster. And it's all because his motion is just so much more relaxed than mine. Elbow relaxed, wrist relaxed, it opens up, boom, snaps forward. Really, really nice. The third key difference is that Liam's stroke is more forwards than mine. Now, if we look at the side on view here, and let's just pause the footage just after we've both hit the ball, and you can see that Liam's bat is further forward than mine. Mine has had a more vertical swing, sort of putting the energy upwards, maybe getting that slightly higher arc over the net, a slightly safer topspin. Liam's has gone that bit more forward, which means his shot is more direct. 
it goes lower over the net and it goes faster. Now, it might not seem that that's a particularly big difference, but actually it is quite a big difference um, into how the shot is played. So if you're wanting to get that more direct opening attack, then just playing it a little more forwards is going to allow you to keep the ball lower over the net and to play the shot faster. So those are three key differences. Liam is having more body rotation. He's coiling his body more, which is allowing him to uncoil and create extra acceleration. Second, his arm movement is much more fluid, whereas mine is a bit more static. With Liam, you can see the way that he's bringing his arm back and then it unfolds and boom. So in that more fluid motion, he's once again able to generate a lot more acceleration compared to my more robotic movement, okay? And then the third key difference is that Liam's swing trajectory is just that little bit more forwards. Mine is a, a bit more a vertical. His is just coming forwards that bit more, which again allows him to put a bit more energy into that ball. And finally, here's some footage of me trying to return Liam's forehand topspin attack. So I'm serving backspin, Liam pushes, I push to his forehand and then Liam attacks. We did this exercise for about five minutes. And honestly, in that five minutes, I only returned one, one of his forehand attacks. It's that good. Um, and it's just so fast. It comes at you so quickly and I'm pretty good at blocking. It's one of the things I'm better at, but I just couldn't get anywhere near these. They were just too fast for me. They're, they're fast, they're direct, they're very well placed. And the interesting thing, it wasn't as though they were really loaded with very, very heavy topspin. Um, actually, the contact was a little bit flatter and that just made it even harder because it just comes at you so fast it's such a good shot so if you could learn to play a shot in in this way you would win tons of points there just oh, so it's too yeah okay go on there Thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to Liam Pitchford for demonstrating his forehand topspin versus backspin technique. Also a big thank you to Briber and Victus for making this video series happen. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel or take a look at some of these other videos that I have made. I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.